Okay, and on to the chapter 12, which is differentiation. The differentiation is a branch of mathematics called calculus. It's the first really new branch of mathematics you come across on the A-level course, really on the pure side of things anyway. Okay, we're just also going to introduce it by looking at gradients of curves. Differentiation, though, is about rates of change. So a gradient of a curve is the rate of change of y against x, how steep it is how quickly its heights change in relation to its horizontal distance. And that's what differentiation is all about, all about rates of change. So we're going to look at a grade of curve. We've got here a graph of the, in the positive x direction of y equals x squared. I've got a point i on 1. And say if I wanted to work out the gradient of that point. Well, to work out the gradient of that point, we'll work out the gradient of something called the tangent line. See, it's the straight line that just touches the curve at that point we have just about the same amount of area to this side of the graph as to this side of the graph of the curve and that's called the tangent line now were I to draw that accurately and I'll show you how to work it out later but we can work out the gradient of that tangent line and it works out to be 2 so the gradient of the tangent line Two. Let's just take it for granted where it is. So what I'm going to do though is work out the gradient of some chords. So we're going to work out the gradient from A to P. Where we've got different coordinates for P. So it starts off at 2, 4, 1.5, 2.25, 1.1, 1.21. 1.01, getting down to general terms 1 plus h, where h is small. So we're gradually reducing the size of p, or reducing the distance of p to a. So if we wanted to work out the gradient of a to p, where p is 2, 4, well, if that's 1, 1, and that's 2, 4, the vertical distance is 4 to 1 is 3, horizontal distance 1 to 2 is 1. So the gradient is 3. So then what we're going to do in then is work out the change in y divided by the change in x. So it's going to be the y coordinate take away 1 divided by the x coordinate take away 1 in each case. So, so the gradient in this one is going to be 1.25 over 0.5, which is 2.5. Going to this one's going to be 0.21 over 0.1, which is 2.1. The gradient on this one's going to be 0.0201 divided by 0.01, which is 2.01. So as you can see, the gradient goes from 3 to 2.5, 2.1, 2.01. So the closer P becomes to I, the closer P gets to I, the closer the gradient gets to the gradient of the tangent. That makes sense because this is the gradient of the chord. So as the distance is reduced, you can see the chord eventually becomes the tangent when the distance between A and B is insignificantly small. And that's what we do here because we just say H is a really small number. So in terms of what the gradient would be here though, difference in um, the y coordinate would be 1 plus h squared take away 1 divided by h because this is the difference here from 1 to 1 plus h is just h so that would be 1 plus 2h plus h squared minus 1 over h 1 minus 1 cancels so that would give us just 2 plus h so gradient of the chord equals 2 plus h. So when you make h insignificantly small, close to 0, we say tends to 0, the gradient of the chord tends to 2. So the gradient of the chord becomes the gradient of the tangent. 